Madonna was Bearer Sophie's plan. Hey. We've uh, uh, ridden in minor death uh, how she played Fox in her almost hour-long chorus on guard video, but this time we're going in into full detail on how she almost succeeded and why. I'm, uh, I'll also be drawing what I think Fox's office looks uh, like based on his uh, pre uh, based on his, uh, personality, which will be explained in her upcoming clone MBTI video. I did draw most of the details be uh, before filming, so. Yeah, I got carried away. We'll start with Letta Termont, the martyr. Barris Offie needed someone foolish and desperate enough to go through with the plan. Letta's husband likely talked to a lot of his co-workers about the anti-war protests his wife were do uh, was doing. Barris merely had to listen in and study him. After determining that his wife would be the perfect sucker for the job, she went down to meet her. She convinces her of her vision and secretly buys the bombs. With enough coaxing, Letta f feeds the bombs to her husband. She even assures her that Ahsoka would, uh, could help her if her life was in danger, claiming that she could protect her. Step one was complete. We suspect that Barris had the detonator due to the fact that it, she would know if he was in position before blowing up and blowing him to chunks. Barris knew that the Jedi would investigate the bombing and so cut off ties with Leta, killing her at the beginning of step three. Step two is complete. Commander Fox, the muzzled hunter. Barris had never worked with Fox and likely only knew him by a, his many reputations. So you'd think fooling him would be hard. It's technically not. She didn't need to get close to him. If anything, staying out of his line of sight made framing Ahsoka easier. But she did have to get close to some of his men to learn how to get into the detention center without getting spotted. His men don't talk much on patrol, so she would have needed to catch them on their break to ask harmless questions. And getting them to admit to everything she wanted and uh, wants to know wouldn't be difficult as they want to talk. To plan out the frame job, she needed to get into Fox's office as his computer is on a closed system, making it impossible to hack from the outside. With the guard's info, she easily sneaks in. As Fox doesn't ha uh, have a lock on his office door, getting to his computer is a cinch. He also doesn't spend much time in there because of his many, many duties. This guarantees an open window of opportunity as long as guards don't come in for a surprise visit. She would have to do. Uh, uh, she would have had uh, to do this a few weeks in advance to put time between her and the crime and to memorize the layout. Because Fox is a man of protocol, keeping him fooled was going to be the hard part. She knew that any slip up would tip him off, so keeping him busy uh, was her best option. Also covering all the tracks. Because of the uh, Jedi's misunderstanding of Fox, she had to make sure it was a Jedi F Fox didn't know, and who couldn't fake a response to save their life. Ahsoka ended up on that list as she is also strong-headed and, and impulsive and military-minded. She knew that a Ahsoka would pass Fox's test in a heartbeat, making him question himself after she kills Leta. This doubt makes him easier to manipulate. After Ahsoka's uh, arrest, Tarkin and Anakin would show up and put him through the ringer, both putting a tight leash on him so he can't do his job. Step three is complete. Step four. She had to fix, um, she had to free Ahsoka and convince Fox that she beat up his men. If she killed them too soon, Fox would shoot Ahsoka no questions asked. She would have to uh, make herself known to any clone in, in the correct hall and keep them talking until an alarm was activated. If she's in the wrong hall, Fox will know something's off. As she studied the layout, she'd uh, and know that the doors were designed to trap or limit an escapee's choices. Once the alarm goes off, she kills them knowing that by the time Fox and Ahsoka gets there, the cuts would still be glowing. She'd head back to the control room as quickly as possible by a different route to kill the ones Fox already checked on, setting, uh, setting up step six. Once he checks uh, the dead bodies in the hall, he'll go into kill mode, forcing Anakin to take charge. Anakin won't trust Fox, uh, trapping him in a difficult position. Step four. Once everyone uh, was uh, chasing Ahsoka out, uh, out towards the industrial pipes, uh, she waits for Tarkin uh, to be let out of the safe room to find the fresh bodies in front of Ahsoka's cell. After Fox gets back, he'll get chewed out by Tarkin and kicked off the case, causing him to investigate quietly. Knowing how he works, she would only have to wait for his arrival before getting him out of the way. Fox isn't the kind of person who sulks in his office. Plus, if Fox knew about the trial, he would have postponed it one way or another to make time to solve the case. She wouldn't want that. Now we have Ahsoka, the scapegoat. 
As stated before, the scapegoat had to be someone who couldn't fake a response, be hard to catch once scared, and didn't know Fox. And Ahsoka fell into that slot perfectly. All she knew about Fox was that he was in charge of the Coruscant Guard, nothing else. Telling Leta that the only one she could trust is Ahsoka forces Ahsoka into the position. As Ahsoka is her friend, she knows her well enough to, uh, to choose her. This sets up steps two through five. All she had to do was get Ahsoka arrested, wait until she's asleep, beat up the guards, place a key card in front of her cell, and plant her calm and lightsabers on the ground where Fox will see her when, she, uh, when he returns. Once she escapes, she kills three clones, knowing that Ahsoka will stumble across them and assume that Fox wouldn't believe her. Ahsoka, due to her headstrong nature, would give everyone a run for their uh, credit. Uh, would give everyone a run for their credits. As long as she's not caught in the building, the plan is flawless. Tarkin, the monkey wrench. Tarkin, because of the temple bombing, uh, 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 because of the temple bombing, has his finger in the Coruscant guard's business once Leto's arrested. He's not important until step three, where he forces Fox to keep everyone out during his, uh, Ahsoka's interrogation. That order only standing until Tarkin is done. Barris understood that Tarkin can be very stubborn while, uh, when he thinks he's right. That includes sending Fox, uh, the person who's spent years interrogating people, on the assumption that he's stupid. Uh, send away Fox. That includes sending Fox, uh, 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 Fox away, the person who spent years interrogating people on the assumption that he's stupid. The second Ahsoka escapes, Tarkin would need to be placed into, uh, in a safe room. Barris would wait for the guards to release him after her killing the clones in front of Ahsoka's cell to uh, let him find them. She sees the bodies, assumes uh, Ahsoka killed them, then sends them to the incinerator, destroying important evidence. He gets in, in an argument with Fox, and he gets in an argument with Fox, pulls rank on him, and kicks him off the case, kicking out his main witness. This causes Fox to go hunt bears alone. Tarkin now has free range to convince the Jedi Council that Ahsoka uh, should get a civilian trial, sentencing her to death. With Fox gone, Tarkin would also have complete control of the quarries. Step five is where Ahsoka gets charged for treason and put in front of a firing squad, setting up step six. And last, Anakin, the wild card. His actions are a lot harder to control, but he is somewhat predictable. She knew that if Ahsoka was going to be arrested, Anakin would try to help her. He would immediately fail Fox's test by being his aggressive self. Fox refuses to let him in and gives him a warning that he, uh, when he does threaten him. Anakin leaves believing that Rex might be able to talk him down. This would stall Anakin and Fox long enough to frame Ahsoka, and when Fox is enraged by the death of his men, Anakin will pull rank on him and get in the way. With Anakin in the lead, Ahsoka gets away because he'll use words instead of actions when the moment comes. He kicks Fox off the case out of mistrust and chases her down himself after, talk after telling the council, giving Barris more Emma uh, after, uh, after telling the council, giving Barris more time. Once Ahsoka is recaptured, Anakin would go out and hunt down whoever poor, uh, whatever poor sap to help Ahsoka. This is where the wild card part comes in. Barris has no idea of her succeed in killing his only suspect or not. If he does, she moves on to step six. If he doesn't, everything falls apart. I suspect she was expecting the former, as that's how he normally falls. Now the cracks in the plan. Letta would uh, uh, Letta could have had second thoughts. That could have easily uh, uh, that could have been easily fixed with a little extra manipulation. Same if the husband refuses the tainted food. The Jedi didn't, uh, don't care where their money goes, so it uh, won't be missed. They wasted on robes for crying out loud. So step one has the least chance of going wrong. Let's step. Uh, let's check step two. The detonator could fail. The husband could be in the wrong place when the trigger is pressed, or Leta could rat her out once arrested, so there is a little more uh, uh, to worry about. Step 3. Nothing uh, would become a problem until they arrive at Leta's cell. Fox could just as easily decide to stay, or the changing of the guards could have uh, been a little off. Tarkin could have let Fox uh, join him in the interrogation to keep an eye on him, making Ahsoka take Fox's side when Tarkin belittles him in front of her when he points out, out clues that Ahsoka is innocent. This would be. Uh, this would in turn cause her to stay in her cell, uh, giving her an alibi. Fox, uh, Fox uh, uh, could have come back early, catching Ahsoka asleep in her cell, but his men unconscious. Or after Ahsoka escaped, and she, it, it could tell Fox exactly what he wanted to know, ordering her to uh, go back to her cell and find out what, uh, from his men who really attacked them. This step has the highest chances of going wrong. Step four. Fox could have shot Ahsoka for real in the hall. Her getting caught uh, uh, would uh, give her an alibi when taken back to her cell. Anakin could have uh, uh, shown up too late to stop Fox from giving the kill order, his men gunning her down with a bazooka. 
This step uh, would be impossible to come back from. Step five, Anakin uh, could have caught her too early and gotten her a real lawyer. Honestly, this step has the best chances of success. Step six was uh, to go before the Jedi Council and tell them the truth and show them how wrong they are. This has a high chance of backfire as the Jedi are stubborn and closed-minded. Uh, only a small number of Jedi would listen to her and pull out of the war. Now the general problems from an outside perspective. Her plan was to blow up the temple to prove that the Jedi were warmongers and quickly turn on their own. She proved half her point. The Jedi will turn on their own to save face. So what would have been a better plan that would have gotten the point across without casualties? Honestly, I think the best way she could have proved her point would have been to talk to the Separatists, maybe even Dooku himself, record the conversation and come up with an epic speech to present to the Council. Possibly base it on research and comparing Jedi of old to the Jedi now, even bringing up how the Jedi created Grievous. Because she did study that. It's the reason she made her plan in the first place. Unfortunately, it wouldn't have worked as the Jedi were doomed to fail from the beginning. The only difference it would have made is a lot less deaths now, but not later. Soka never would have been kicked out of the Order and likely wouldn't have survived Order 66. But we'll never know. Bye! Bye! Yeah.